Hey guys, welcome to this episode of The Rachel Cruz Show. All right, <sighs> something is happening out there in the world regards to a new payment method. Hmm. The conspiracy theorist in me is like, is anyone seeing this? <laughs> is anyone seeing this? It's kind of crazy, okay? And I thought maybe one day, maybe one day something like this would happen. But it's happening today. Like it is literally happening in our world. And I was shocked. I thought, oh my gosh. You know, because I go, I go super conspiracy theorist on like political side and world domination side. And as a Christian, I have the Bible and Revelation. <laughs> so I have this side. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what is happening? Is it happening? Because you know what it is, y'all? The microchip. Mm hmm. The microchip to pay for stuff inside your body is here. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. It is here, yep. According to the article, the British-Polish company, Walletmore is now selling microchips that is the size of a grain of rice for $300. So you get them implanted anywhere in your body and it's basically a digital wallet. So you don't have to carry anything around with you. Your IDs, your payment methods, everything is on this. So if companies, which companies now apparently all over the world, will take this method of payment, you just scan wherever you have it. So it's crazy that we are here in this time. And is there a small part of me that's like, oh my gosh, is anyone seeing this? Yes, for sure. But for the most part, that's what's happening. So here's my very logical, normal, sane, sober Rachel <laughs> giving you advice when it comes to paying with a microchip. If you wanna to choose to do it, that is totally up to you. But the more further and further away we get to actually paying with things tangibly, our mind and our emotions associate that with not a lot of pain, which means we tend to overspend. We don't think twice about what we're buying, all of that. So again, old school was cash, right? Or even a check. You had to like sit there and take time and write a check, right? All of that was so tangible. Then we went to cards and you swipe it and then it be kind of became less uh, emotional because you're like, oh yeah, I mean, I get to keep the card and I get what I'm paying for, all of that. Now with the chip, there's not there's none of that. So you're just feeling, right? Or it went with the phone. I guess that was the, ne the next edition. The phone, you, 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 know, you swipe your phone with Apple Pay. You feel nothing there. And then right there, right there in the wrist or the thumb or wherever you choose to put that grain of rice in your body, just not a lot of emotion attached to that when it comes to paying for something. So remember, paying with cash, paying with a debit card, you're always going to spend less than any other payment method out there because you know you're spending your own money. When you use debt, when you use a credit card, all those things, you start to lose reality a little bit that it's your money you're spending because you have this delayed response of when you have to pay for it. So just remember, the closer you are to your money and spending your own money, the less money statistically and what studies show that you will spend. So I wanna know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you as crazy as me sometimes where your mind goes off in this crazy world and you think, this is it, this is the end, <laughs> this is the end. Leave the comments, I wanna hear from you. And if you have a friend who loves a good conspiracy theory, send them this video because they will very much appreciate it. So remember, be wise and take control of your money and create a life you love. <laughs>